welcome to this video for the Seat Leon uh, TSI 1.4 ACT uh, FR. So that's a mouthful. So this is a uh, hang on, I've got what year it is? 64, 64 Reg. Uh, it's covered 58,000 miles. Uh, it is a previously damage repaired category N. Category N meaning non-structural damage, so it will be panel damage. I'm walking around the vehicle and do you know what? I can't really confirm where I think it's been damaged because we don't know where it's been damaged. It was done a few years ago and looking at it, I'm presuming it might be the front bumper because that's a little bit of a telltale sign there. As you can see, it protrudes a little tiny bit there. I'm presuming there. So Cat N, non-structural damage. Structural obviously uh, means when it damages the part of the vehicle that cannot be replaced as a bolt-on and off panel. So, believe it or not, if someone runs into this quarter panel here, that is part of the structure because that cannot be bolted on off. That comes with the shell of the car. So, yeah, front door, that is uh, N. That's crack N and this, and obviously we think it's the front bumper. Okay, let's start close up on the corner. As you can see, it's in tidy condition. It's got the lower uh, fog lights as well, sports fog lights, the LED daytime runners, and it's also got the, uh, oh, I think it's Xenons under there as well. The bonnet's in tidy condition. It's a little tiny bit of a mark just there. You can see that right in the middle, that little tiny bit of a mark there. That's all we can see on there. All the wheels are in good condition. Little bits of scuffs on the edges there, tiny bits, as to be expected, especially on this side of the vehicle, closest to the kerb. So kerb side always has that front wheel as uh, slightly damaged or scuffed. But at least they're silver, the original colours. That wing's nice, so the panels are good. There's nothing out of the ordinary on this vehicle, to be fair. If you look round it, um, got that wheel there, that's quite tidy, that one. There's no, no damage around the edges there. Just washed it, that's what this water is there, they're water marks. So we've just washed it. There's a, got the reverse parking sensors as well, they do work. They've been beeping all day long when we've been walking around the vehicle. Actually, you can hear it now. And if I just walk up to the sensor, you can hear it beeping. Yeah, so that's that. It's got the uh, privacy glass pipe, as you can see from the B pillar onwards, the rear windows are tinted. It's got these 17 inch alloy wheels. Edges of the wing mirrors are good. No damage on the edges there, no chips on that. Windscreen, good condition, no cracks. Very, very light little chip just there. If you can see it right in the middle there, little tiny one just there, middle of the screen, very, very minute. It's not cracked, it's just a little tiny bit of a surface strip, chip. It's also got the light and rain sensor. So that's your light and rain sensor. So automatic lights and the rain. Okay, so that's, all the car covered. Let's just do the roof. No, there's nothing on there. The roof is good. Let's start in the rear. So let's pop the rear. Pop the rear. Parcel shelf is there. Reverse sensors obviously work. That's it. Stand away. It stopped working. Oh, it's picking up again. Uh, all that's nice and clean. No scratches on there. The parcel shelf, like I say, is there. Split fold rear seats, 60, 40. The carpet's clean here as well. Let's have a look under here, lift up, have we got a spare wheel? No, we've got a tyre foam there, in fact we should, we're going to put a compressor in there. We'll put that in now actually, so it's got a compressor, because these don't carry a spare wheel, they have a compressor and some tyre foam, which there's some slime there, and looks like someone's stolen the, uh, the compressor. So I'll go and get one of those and stick that in. So that's that. Oh, let's just get the condition of this. John, can you get me a tyre foam repair kit, please? One of them brand new ones out of the cupboard. Yep. Cheers, thank you. So we'll put a brand new one in now as we speak. 
So that's the uh, edge of the uh, boot there. No major damage, etc. Look inside here. That's the fuel cap. Obviously, it's petrol, so it's 95 Ron. Okay, John's coming out with this. Thank you, John. So this is a brand new one here. Oh, hang on, John. The compressor. There's not one in there. There's not one in there. Oh, all right. Alright, the other one. He's bought the wrong one. Okay, so while he's doing that, uh, it's got these carbon fibre, uh, what do you call it, garnish on the uh, A frame there, shall we say? Or B pillar, sorry. B pillar, the door's really tidy. There's nothing out of the ordinary on that door card. It's all clean and tidy. All the rubber seals are intact. Same here, the rubber seal for the door, they're not worn at all. Uh, got the chrome stainless steel kick plate for the FR. And John's just walked out with this, there we go. So there we go, we've got a brand new smart repair tire kit with a compressor. So I'll just lift this up here and we'll stick that in here. So we've got a brand new repair kit in there. Okay, we'll close the boot now. Okay. So, stainless steel FR logoed uh, kick plate, as you can see, all that's nice and tidy, the pedals are nice and clean, it's got the fitted car mat set as well with the clips. Uh, it's actually got the storage package as well, it's a storage package there, we've got a, a, a compartment there, that's a storage pack. It's got the half leather seats, as you can see, very good condition, no wear on the bolster whatsoever. It's obviously not real leather by the way, this is vinyl, it's not real leather. Uh, okay, so this is the cloth bit inside, the little checkered's on, stop you from sliding around. Let's look in the back. Back seats are tidy, free headrests, free seat belts, ch uh, child isofix anchoring points there as well. Okay, uh, fitted car mat set there, back to the seats are tidy. It's got the uh, magazine holder there as well, some air vents there. Put that bike. Okay, up front, have oh, we got this? We've got the oh, electric windows, heated mirrors as well. So heated mirrors, electric windows, a central locking button. Let me just sit in here. Right, so this has got the tech pack. So it's got all this uh, technical stuff like the park pilot. Uh, and if we press the uh, nav there, it's got the nav. Uh, it says, please insert data medium with valid navigation data. So the SD card looks like it's missing for this vehicle. So it's the upgrade. So what we'd usually say to people is if you want to get the sat nav working again you have to buy an up-to-date sd card off ebay so this vehicle's 2014 so you want to be buying the 2022 updated sat nav card off ebay and they start from 15 pounds obviously you don't want to be getting the 2014 one because you'll be driving to a field because obviously you've got all these new roads uh in here you've got the uh book pack uh we're waiting to see if the service book is going to come for this because there's no service booklet in here we're trying to chase it off the dealers but we can't promise it anybody so we're going to say no it's not got any service history okay it's been serviced by ourselves uh this is the uh this is the sat nav data 2014 one it's empty so there's nothing in there there's a locking wheel up there there's the uh, plug for your iphone as well so plug for your iphone there which obviously is for the multimedia system nav system as, as well uh, so we're waiting for the documents, the logbook, uh, and if there was a spare key from the previous owner. So that's what we're waiting for, trying to chase that down. We've got an MOT certificate here, which was December the 20th. So we've got an MOT there, uh, and then, like you say, it has been serviced as well at the same time. The mileage there is 58,842. Uh, so it's got the steering wheel buttons as you can see volume and we've got that as well we've also got cruise control on the stalk there as you can see that stalk's got the cruise control so that's good uh you've got the six speed gearbox uh and this vehicle has got yes it's got dual zone climate so you've got high you've got 21 degrees there so dual zone climate control let's turn that down it's going to be warm uh we're in january at the moment and uh, it's quite warm today actually it's saying 6.5 on the uh, outside temperature gauge so that's automatic climate control there as you can see you've got your start stop button there and your mode so if you press the mode button it should come on yeah so you've got normal sport eco and individual so you can do the settings and it's obviously this is touch screen as well so you can set your uh, 
brake horsepower, should we say. Um, drinks holder there, nice and clean. The uh, uh, leather gaiter with the red stitching. Uh, same again on the handbrakes, that's a lovely little touch. And obviously it matches with the seats as well. Uh, and then we've got a little cubby hole here, nothing in there. No plugs or anything, but it's very clean. Got your 12 volt supply down here. Uh, and that is it for there. So this is actually a sliding armrest. So you can see you can do that and press it foot forward, push it there. So it's a sliding armrest, which is good. Uh, we've looked in there. Uh, what else? What else have we got up here? We've got a uh, cream or beige roof, should we say? The lining, the roof lining. Have we got? We've got. Have we got illuminated? Yes, we've got illuminated vanity mirrors as well. So when we slide that across, it shuts. So we've got that. What else have we got? We have got the, uh, oh, if we pull the bonnet that side and we show you under the bonnet. I'll show you the other door card as well. Let's go around this side, show you the door card. Make sure there's no surprises there. So no scratches, no scuffs. As you can see, everything's clean and tidy. No trap seat belt marks there. So that's all nice there. The rubber's intact there. Got the side air bag. Uh, lumbar support as well, manual lumbar support that is, and then they've got passenger side uh, seat height adjustment, which is quite rare. Uh, let me just pull this one back. So this wire works as well. So this lift pull that works. The wires, the cable's not snapped, so that seat can go backwards and forwards no problem. Floors all clean. Back of the seats nice and clean as well. Floor mat there. I'm going to pull the bonnet cable there. That's the bonnet. See under the bonnet, make sure you're happy because, like I said, I think this has had the uh, the uh, front bumper replaced. So let's take a good look under here. Let's start, let's start in the middle. So as you can see, the engine you can hear it, it's the four cylinder one. That's a little bit of foam from the car wash, that's all. All right, so look down here. The chassis numbers there. All the bolts look like they are in place. Nothing's missing. Nothing's cracked. Let me just wobble the headlight. Make sure the headlight's not loose. Nope, that's nice and tight. This panel here, any miss? Nope, all the screws are here. Look, there's a screw there. A fix in there. So they're all there. This side's good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let me just wobble this headlight. Nope, that's nice and tight. I right, say so category N is non-structural, so whatever it was, it wasn't uh, obviously heavy at all. Everything looks nice. Let's look at this bonnet on the underside, make sure there's no dents. Nope, nothing there at all. Everything looks correct. There's no telltale signs of like new bolts, etc. Yeah, very good. So I'm just going to rev the engine as well, make sure you're happy with the engine. So stick the camera there and rev it. And then make sure check for any uh, exhaust fumes. No, nope, that's good. Okay. So that is it. Let's close the bonnet again. walk around the car once more yeah we do accept part exchange if you haven't got a part exchange just give us the reg number and the mileage and we'll give you a quick quote on what we can offer you on that one finance is possible on this vehicle however you have to be a1 credit score to uh, pass on this because if it's a category n there's only one or two companies that will lend against this uh, but you have to be very very squeaky clean on the credit score to apply if not go to the bank go for a personal loan the cheapest option the lowest rate uh, and then just come with the uh, cash thanks for watching hope to see you soon